Hi, we're here to show you how to play the Here Be Monsters game, which uses all of the pirates and monsters from my new book, Here Be Monsters. And I've got Finn, say hello Finn. Hi. And Seth. Hello. Here to help me. So once you've cut out all your cards, you need to mix them all up, and you'll see that most of them are square cards like these, but there's one rectangular card here called the Serpent Snack, snack Barrel. You don't need to mix that, but you put that to one side. And when you've mixed them all up so that you don't know which is which, then we need to lay them out. Think you can help me lay them out, boys? Yeah. Once you've got all the cards laid out, you've got to try and find matching pairs of pirates. But there's a twist. Hidden amongst the pirate cards are some monster cards as well, and we'll show you what to do with those when they turn up, okay? So, to find out who starts first, what you have to do is you have to find out whose birthday is the first. My birthday is in December, when's yours? December. Yours is December as well, and yours November. is November. So, because now it's September, that means that Seth gets to start first. So, he's going to turn over a card. And he's found Stinky O'Bleary, and, and he has to let the rest of us see that card as well. That's important because we want to remember where it is. And then he's found <gasps> two Stinky, stinky O'Bleary. So he gets to keep both of those cards, and that puts him in the lead. But then that's the end of his go. Now it's my go because we go clockwise around the table. So I'm going to turn over a card. Rock, Rock raid. raid! Okay, it tells you what to do on the card, but I'll tell you what it says. It says, steal two cards from another player's hand. If no one has any cards yet, tough luck. Well, fortunately, somebody has got cards. It's poor old Seth. So I'm going to, I'm going to steal these two cards from him. Okay, so once you've played that, you put that to one side and you don't use it again. Whenever you think of a monster card, it's the end of your go. Right. Sneaky Muck Squeaky. So that's Finn's first. And then Daisy Cortez. Must remember where these are. Don't forget so. Okay, so then that's your go. Captain Cutthroat. And Kraken Kerfuffle. This is what you do when you turn over Kraken Kerfuffle. If you've turned over a card before it, you turn it back over again. We put this to one side. We don't use that again. But then we collect up all of the cards, and if there are any cards on here, you'll see how that happens later on. If there's any cards on there, except for cards that they go are, back in as well. Except for that people yeah. found. Yep, I get to keep those because they've been turned over and they're mine. Yeah, excellent. So you're going to help me mix these up and lay them out again. So it's my go again. Okay. So I found Finder Spew and I'm going to turn over the card next to him, which is Daisy Cortez again. Right, so now it's Finn's go again. Queen Von Swint. And Captain Cutthroat. Right, your go is set. Was it? Almost. Rock Ray. No! Okay, so he gets to steal two cards, and he's stealing mine back from me, but at least he is. Okay. So that one, once you've played it, you don't play it again, you put it to one side. Turn over two more cards. Dead Eye Dirk and Blue Bottomed Bart. Okay, so your go. Serpent Snack. What do you do with that one? Put, put these cards along with two other cards that you've collected in the barrel, but if you haven't the barrel, collected yeah. any others, then you're all right, yeah. So if you turn that one over, you have to give the serpent two of your own cards, and because uh, Finn hasn't got any, then he doesn't have to put, he doesn't have to give any to the serpent. And then you put all of those cards on top of that card for safekeeping. Okay. So now it's your go. Your go. Blue bottom Bart and Kraken Kerfuffle again. So it's your go. Serpent snack. Oh, I don't have any cards to give him, have you? So your go. Okay, 
Okay, I'm you want like that one? I'll take that one for you. Can you remember where the other one is? Sneaky, yes, he remembered. He is actually sneaky with spooky, but he remembered that. Okay. He's actually sneaky. Right, my go. <laughs> Captain Cutthroat. I think I know where another Captain Cutthroat is. Yes! Gosh, I remember. Okay. Your go. You've got to be careful now because there is only one there's, shopping snack. There's there. one monster in there. It's been to spew. Okay, can you remember where those two are? This is important. Oh, did I duck? He's done it again. He's got straight in there. He's won. Okay, he probably has won. I lost again. Let's see. Let's see. Oh no! That's not good. Okay, I'm going to put that. So you get those two. So let's see. I've got two sets of pirates. How many sets of pirates have you got? You've got two sets of pirates, and Finn has got three sets of pirates, so Finn, Seth, I keep calling you Finn, so Seth is the winner, well done, quick round of applause, so that's how you play Munching Monsters, if you want to play it yourself, you can go to the website scribblestreet.co.uk to download it, and I suggest that's what you do right now, in fact, if you don't do that, I'm going to send these two little monsters round to get you. Ah!